Hey, welcome to the channel. I'm Ant. This is Ant's Gecko Life. It's been a while since I made a video, so I wanted to catch up with you guys. I wanted to show you how my first two hatchlings from last season turned out, and I wanted to show you how a couple of my new hatchlings from this season have turned out. So if you like the content, please like and subscribe, and make sure to check back on the channel once in a while, and let's get to the video. This here is a photo from the day that my first hatchling popped out last season which was a tangerine tornado times red diamond pairing. She's got a lot of browns and yellows in this photo. And in this one, it shows both her and her sibling, which popped out only a few hours later. This picture was taken a few days after they were born, I believe. And you can see that Neo, the top one, has started to develop dark oranges and the bottom one had more of a, like a striping pattern going on. This is a picture of the dad. He's a tangerine tornado, like I said, from the urban reptile. He's a great example of what an amazing breeder gecko should be. He's got dark colors, almost a full carrot tail. And this is Neo now, after about, I don't know, she's probably like, six months old or so you can see like some of the bright orange there that she had is now the most orange part of her pattern and she's developed some oranges and greens around her she has a fantastic orange carrot tail which is about three quarters full and it's roaring red it's very very dark I would say she's a pretty top quality gecko Tangerines don't get a whole lot better than this, honestly, and I decided to keep her to breed into my next season and create more high-quality geckos. She could sell for a pretty good amount of money, but like I said, I think it's more worth it to keep her and make a more amazing babies next year. Not to mention, she's a great friend of mine. <laughs> I love handling her. Um, she does look a little bit skinny right here. She is a picky eater, but I'll definitely make sure to let her grow more into her size before breeding her, obviously. She is a little bit smaller than her clutch mate as well, who is named Geo, by the way. They're Neo and Geo. Can you guess what they're named after? But I'll show you some video of Geo too in a moment. But right now, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what Neo looks like walking around and the camera is kind of like fading in and out like it's making her look more orange at times and then also less orange at times I'd say that when it's more orange it's definitely much closer to what she actually looks like she's got a really pretty face and a cool little stripe going down the back there And yeah, her tail is just roaring red. Like, it's very, very bright. She's a happy little girl. I'm finally getting pretty good lighting here in my place for, for now. Because here in New Hampshire, it's been dark and dreary for about the last eight months straight. Just like nonstop rain, pretty much. And clouds. And I don't have a great place in my, my house to record videos. So... I've just been kind of waiting for the sun to come in over my sunroof so I can record some nice footage here. And it has been a full, almost six months since we had a great day, which is pretty wild. But now that it's nice out, I hope to make a few more videos. I do have eight new uh, tangerine tornado hatchlings also, so far for this season, which I'll get into. This is Neo enjoying a hornworm. She does enjoy these. She's so cute to watch. Big gulp, she got a big one there, but she can take it. So I'm hoping for one of these new hatchlings to be a het tremper like she is because she, she got the tremper from her mom, which is a red diamond. And all red diamonds are basically uh, tremper tangerines. 
So if I can get one of these new hatchlings to be a male tangerine tornado with a het tremper, that means if I pair them to her, she could either give me tangerine tornadoes or red diamonds. And either one is a morph that I'd be very happy to receive. And I'm just showing you this again because I'm going to focus more on the bottom gecko here. Uh, I'm going to show you how she turned out. She also turned out to be very, very spectacular. Um, she's got some really different but darker oranges going on. And they actually look really cool. The way that the darker oranges kind of contrast against the, the bottom ones. And I'm really, really happy with how she turned out too. She's a little bit more full bodied. Um, she did, didn't get as much carrot tail, but she still got a fairly good amount of carrot tail. And it's good to have like a really, just like I said, full bodied, healthy um, gecko like this. So I'm holding on to her too. And I'm going to pair her back to hopefully a male uh, tornado head trumper if I get one, which I'm really hoping to get. And you can see here, yeah, like, again, the video keeps kind of fading in and out with the shades of orange, but but uh, when it's darker, it's definitely more representative of how she looks. And she's got even more of a, like a bold stripe going down her back. And uh, she's really just a fantastic gecko. I really love Geo. So I'm holding on to both of these geckos this year. And I will be trying to outcross both of them next season which will be my third breeding season. She got a lot of facial features from her mom. Her mom has like a lot of spots underneath her eyes. Uh, she actually, yeah, her mom almost looks identical to her and it's really cool. Uh, I think she's capable of creating amazing offspring as well. And yeah, she's growing up great. And uh, this is both of the geckos, yep. So, from last season. I also did get two um, Max Snows, which I mentioned, I think, in my last video. They're doing great as well. They're a little bit harder to get on video, though, because they're very spastic and they don't want to sit still. This is Geo enjoying a hornworm. I figured I'd get some feeding of both. But the Max Snows, they did turn out cool. One was a Super Snow, one was a regular Snow. One is pretty friendly, the other one does not like to come out much. He's still not mean, but he definitely isn't a fan of showing his face. This gecko here on the screen that I'm showing you is the mom. This was before I bred her last season. Um, she did give me some awesome eggs last season. As you can see, she's very bright orange. And this here is my two first hatchlings from this season, actually. This pairing was the same father, a tr tangerine tornado. And this time I paired them to um, a blood tremper. And this one had almost a full carrot tail going on. It was a really nice one. And this is how they look after just a couple of weeks of being born. They get along really well. They're growing really quickly. Um, they do have lots of carrot tail developing in. These pictures are actually a few days old now and the carrot tailing is even coming in even more. I've got five geckos from this pairing so far and they're all coming along really, really well. So I am hoping that one of these will be a male so that I can breed them back to my last year's females that I pr produced. And I think that I should have some really good luck with that. These two guys are developing really quickly um, and I'm just really excited to see how they turn out here in the next few months. 
the guy on the right here is growing very quickly, rapidly. Like, he's already probably almost twice that size. And like I said, it's only been a couple of days since I recorded this footage. And I'm already kind of behind on what he looks like, or she. But yeah, these are my first two hatchlings for this season. And yeah, I just love watching these guys grow, grow up. I love watching them change. Um, in my next video, I'm sure I'll be showing you these guys and they'll probably be much different looking. If you guys want to see some footage of how the siblings are turning out and if you want to see more about how these guys turn out, let me know in the comments or just give the video a like and show it to me, please. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and following me on my journey with my baby leopard geckos. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Maybe give it a share. I'm working on making my videos. Have a great day. See ya.